back to my channel so today's video is going to be on this makeup look that i am wearing today which is a shimmery golden look with a bold lip option to wear to indian parties and weddings and throughout this video i have been talking to you showing you step by step on how to achieve this look so if you want to know how to recreate this look please keep on watching So after I have cleansed and moisturized my face, I am going to go with my primer. It is the Milk Makeup Blur Stick. to blur out my imperfections and after doing the primer I'm going to go ahead and start doing my eye makeup for that I'm going to take my elf camo concealer and I'm going to go ahead and prime my eyelids Next, I'm going to go into my eyeshadow palette and the eyeshadow palette that I will be using today is the Makeup Revolution Reloaded in the shade, uh, in the variant Velvet Rose. the color slightly above my crease next I'm going to go with a slightly more darker color and go just below where I applied my first color Make sure that your eyeshadows are blended. I'm going to go right into the crease with that color. achieve my gradient effect I'm again going to go ahead with this color here and go ahead and blend my darker eyeshadow And now it's time for the shimmer so for that I'm going to apply a little bit of concealer in the inner corner of my eye will 
help the shimmer eyeshadow to pop even more I'm going to go back to my eyeshadow palette and use this beautiful gold shade this is a dirty gold shade and I'm going to go ahead and pop it right onto my eyelid For further color payoff, I'm going to go into the shade right with my fingers. add more drama to the eyes I am going to use this dark shade here and lay it on the outer uh, outer part of my eyelid I'm going ahead with my finger to blend the two colors, the shimmer and the matte. Take your blending brush and go ahead and blend again. I'm going to add more earthy tones to my eye look so I am going to go ahead and use this shade here and I am going to go ahead and put it right on my crease to go ahead and again use this shade to blend that other color take a big fluffy brush like this and go ahead and dust all the fallout from underneath your eyes I'm going to come back and finish up my eye look later on now I'm going to go ahead with my foundation this is the Clinique foundation beyond perfecting in the shade 8 golden neutral I'm going to go with my elf camera concealer going to put it right underneath my eyes to conceal my darkness under the eyes next I'm going to take the LA Pro concealer this is the yellow corrector which I'm going to use to further highlight underneath my eyes and I'm going to use my fingers once again to blend the concealer more seamlessly into my skin because the warmth from my fingers are going to blend the foundation even better. You want 
to highlight just underneath the eyes for a more lifted look. Whatever is left on my finger, I'm going to use that to go over my forehead a little bit just to give it uh, give a little bit of highlight on my forehead as well. Next up is my setting powder. I'm going to use the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Press Powder in the shade Neutral Beige and I'm going to set my entire face with this fluffy brush. Next, I'm going to fill in my eyebrows with my Rimmel Eyebrow Pencil. I'm going to go ahead and finish my eye look so for that I'm going to go ahead and take this lighter golden shade here mix it a little bit here with the satiny white shade and go on my eyebrow I'm going to use my sugar eyeliner and this is a matte black eyeliner So next I'm going to take my Sugar Cosmetics Coal of Honor in the shade black and I'm going to go ahead and place it on my lash line. I'm going to go ahead back to my eyeshadow palette and I'm going to use the really dark shade here and I'm going to use it to smoke out my lash line. I will take my Faces Ultime Pro Face Palette in the shade Glow and I'm going to use this shade to bronze up my face. From the 
same palette I'm going to be using my blush Next I'm going to take my plum fixing mist and I'm going to spray it all over my face. While it dries, I'm going to go ahead and use my L'Oreal Lash Paradise. Mascara While my face is slightly damp, I'm going to go ahead with my favorite Maybelline Master Chrome Highlighter in 100 molten gold and highlight my face with it. Going back into my highlighter, I'm going to take it on a smaller brush and use it as, an, as my inner corner highlight. Further highlight my brow bone. I'm going to take this highlighter from the Faces Altan Pro Glow palette and I'm going to use it there. I have used this palette, of, I have done a full face with this palette in another video. If you would like to check that out, the link is going to be in the description box below. step is going to be my lipstick and I'm going to go ahead and use my trusted MAC lipstick in the shade Ruby Woo and I have uh, swatched my entire MAC lipstick collection in the video previous to this I will uh, link this video in the description box once again below uh, or I'm going to throw it up in the end of this video so that if you want to watch it you can go ahead and have a look. So my binti is on, my earrings are on and this completes my complete makeup look as a wedding guest. If you have enjoyed my video today and if you found it useful, 
please do not forget to hit the subscription uh, button down below please hit the subscribe button and please don't forget to like and share and comment on my video subscription is free and it helps me out a lot thank you so much for all the support that i have been enjoying thank you so much i'll see you again in my next video till then bye bye